A very good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tanpan, and I'm delighted to see you. How do you like this? You like me? No. Arrogant. Rude? Curt? Okay, let's try again. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Tanpan, and I'm delighted to see you. Better? Oh, hesitant, low in confidence. Let's try once more. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tarthan. I'm delighted to see you. Who is this guy trying to flirt with you? Seductive. One last time. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Darpan, and I'm absolutely delighted to be here. Better? Earnest, charming, happy to be here. So what happened? What happened in the last three instances? What was different that made you react differently? The difference, my dear friends, lies in the magical art of voice acting. What is voice acting? Voice acting is the ability to use your voice as a tool to influence people and speak in a way in which you communicate emotions that you want to communicate to people. What I did a minute back is a classic example of how changing the tone, the pitch, the speed of your voice, the expression of your voice can instantly change the way people perceive you. You perceive me differently every time I spoke that line. Is that correct? I said the same line, I said the same words. I did not use swear words. I was not doing anything else. Same lines, everything was the same. But still, it made you feel differently about me. That is the power of voice acting. Voice acting, my dear friends, is integral to our lives. We are all surrounded by voice acting all the time. All of us are born voice actors. The way you talk to your friends is different from the way you talk to your professor, is different from the way you talk to your boyfriend, or your girlfriend, or both, or your subordinate, or your boss. The way you talk to your parents when you want permission to stay out late partying, remember that? How you talk to your parents is different from the way you talk to the same parents when they deny you that permission. That is a classic example of voice acting in everyday life. In fact, all of us are in some way or the other acting with our voice all the time. But then what is it that makes a lay person different from a voice actor like any of us? The difference is voice actors like us are trained to manipulate our mind to use our voice to bring out emotions as per the demand of the situation. Voice artists like us are trained to fake it. We are trained to believe that what is not real is real. No wonder when you watch advertisements, when you watch these cartoon shows, when you watch TV promos or when you watch these dubbed content, People are acting like someone else. Voice actors are trained to leave their mood and their personality outside the studio. In our industry, it is said that leave your shoes and your mood outside the studio. And some studios allow shoes these days, but mood ko allow ni karta. So it doesn't matter whether I had a tough day today coming for this amazing event. Do you know about it? Do you think I had a tough day? The answer is no, because I'm ensuring that you don't know about it. I'm doing that using the power of my mind, of my mind to use my voice to come across as someone who is very happy to be here, who is delighted to see you, who is very charming right now, because that's what this situation demands. Every day of our lives, every moment, there is a situation which requires us to speak in a particular way. Do most of us do it? The answer is no. 90% of us do not realize the value 
of voice acting in everyday life. I think voice acting is one of the most underrated skills of our personality. Voice acting has helped me shape my personality. Voice acting has helped me shape my destiny. And I see no reason why voice acting cannot help all of us do the same. When we talk about examples in everyday life about how voice acting impacts us, let's talk about media. Okay, media. All of us are very interested in media broadcasting. How about radio? All of us listen to radio? Yes. I'm sure we have our own favorite radio jockeys, right? Right? Yes. Let's see how these radio jockeys harness the power of voice acting and influence you. And it's high time that you learn how to do that yourself. So imagine your favorite radio station, imagine your favorite radio jockey, imagine a morning drive time show when everyone is going to work. You switch on the radio and you listen to this guy going like, Good morning, I'm Sudre Apkal, favorite radio station, I'm your favorite radio jockey. It's a lovely day out there. I know you're going to work, but you know what, I've got some great music for you and I've got you covered with some exciting stuff. Is this how he or she usually speaks? Morning show? Why do they speak this way? Why don't they rather speak, good morning everyone. You're listening to you're listening to your favorite radio jockey. You're listening to your favorite radio station. It's a lovely day out there. I know you're going to work, but I've got some great music for you and I've got you all covered. Why don't they speak this way? Because in the earlier instance, they spoke in a way, they used something called the tone of your voice. They used the right note, they used the right rhythm, they used the right tempo to create an experience for your senses which makes you feel energized and excited for the day. Is that correct? Now imagine your favorite radio show, another favorite radio show, okay, I'm sure all of you have more than one favorite radio anchor, doing a late night ghazal show. Okay? What does he do? He comes in and says, he says, Sunnivano kumira, namaskar, aap sun rahe hai, aapka pasandida ghazal ka karakram. फिजाओं में बाहर है मौसम भी शुमार है क्या आपको प्यार है आइए सुनते हैं आपके महबूब को याद करता हुआ आइए सुनते हैं आपके महबूब को याद करता हुआ जगजीत सिंह साहब की ये बेशकीमती गजल लाहौश वालों को खबर क्या आशिक की क्या चीज है ट्रस्ट मी इवन इफ यू आर नॉट इन लव इवन इफ यू डोंट हैव अ बिलवेट अ गर्लफ्रेंड बॉयफ्रेंड आपको लगता है यार आज बड़ी याद आई है वाई डिड यू नॉट से गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन आप सुन रहे हैं आपके फेवरेट आर्ट जगह आइए सुनते हैं जगजीत सिंह साहब की आवाज में ये तरक्की भड़कती गजल होश वालों को ही डजेंट डू दैट वुड यू लिसन टू यू जस्ट स्विच स्विच ऑफ योर रेडियो सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस सेम प्रोबेबली द सेम रेडियो जॉकी सेम सिमिलर लाइंस डिफरेंट टाइम बैंड रात वाले को आपको सुनाना है आपको बहुत रिलैक्स कराना है बिकॉज़ यू हैड अ लॉन्ग डे एट वर्क so he's using a certain tone a certain rhythm a certain pace a certain expression a certain pitch of his voice to give you an experience that makes you feel ke yaar aaj to ek drink banti hai this is the power of voice acting can't you do that you can do that if you're talking to your friend in college and suddenly a professor crosses you talking to your friend yeah chalna picture chalta hai maza aayega sham ko and the professor crosses you hi good morning sir good morning sir i'm good thank you sir yes sir i'm coming to the class sir do you continue saying hi good morning sir i'm here alone <laughs> you don't do that why don't you do that why did you just immediately automatically without any training switch notes switch the tone of your voice switch the speed of your voice switch the style of your speaking and become very formal with your professor because your professor is not your friend and your mind is telling you that with the professor i cannot talk in this style this my dear friends is voice acting to hamare aur aap mein koi fark nahi hai fark sirf ye hai that we are like i said earlier we are trained to manipulate our mind when we are recording in a studio and if i'm doing recording a script which requires me to talk to a professor i do not have a professor in front of me i am probably in a 3 feet by 4 feet cubicle called a voice booth and i'm recording those lines but i have to imagine that i have the professor in front of me so increasingly what is happening is we are understanding that voice acting 
is more a function of the mind than a function of your physical voice. Trust me, most of us can speak, right? Most people can speak. Speaking is taken for granted. Have you ever heard anyone say, I'm a bulla seekra? I'm sunte, I'm a gana seekra, I'm sunte, I'm a dance karna seekra. But college, my school, I don't know any school, any college, jahan par aapko voice acting ke liye train kiya jaya. We are not trained to act with our voice and I think that's a pity. I learned it the hard way, which I will talk to you about in just a few minutes. But the point is, all of us can act with our voice. What is required is for us to train our mind to understand what is voice acting in everyday life. Let's see how you can learn voice acting from commercials. How the entire advertising industry uses the power of voice acting to influence you to buy their products and services. Imagine an ad for a washing powder. Let's call it supreme washing powder. Husband, wife talk to each other, ha ha he must think and in the end you have a voiceover which comes in the end trying to sell you that washing powder. And the voiceover comes in comes in and says, Supreme washing powder. Kapre chanke chaka chak lea. Ye ab sirf rupay mein. Nice and happy and sing song, good boy. What if the same voiceover speaks like this? Lea ye naya supreme washing powder. Kapre chaka chaka chak. Ab sirf pachis rupay mein. Right. So wh why is the voice artist doing this? Because somewhere it's a deep conspiracy to rob you of your money and make you buy that washing powder. And we know that you will only buy the washing powder if a good boy is selling it to you. Not some flirtatious guy who says, they are in there, supreme washing powder. Kapri chamke chaka chak bhabi ji. The husband sitting in the drawing room will be like, ye washing powder to kabhi nilo. Line mara hai so the point is advertising, the entire advertising, the billion dollar advertising industry relies so much on harnessing the strength of voice acting skills. Imagine a horror show. Imagine doing a promo or a television trailer for a horror show which goes like, Khof ka naya manzar, jo aap ki wrong te kare kar dega, ab aap ki aur kareeb. If I do this, khauf ka naya manzar jab aap ki wrong te kare kar dega, ab aap ki aur kareeb. So classic example of how, of how, you know, using your voice acting skills in the right manner can help you influence people and sell products and services. My whole endeavor is to tell the world that voice acting skills are not about speaking on television or radio. Voice acting skills needs to be, can be and should be used by each and every person working or not working because all of us can actually shape our personality doing that. I know I said all people, everyone is a born voice actor. Maybe I was lying. Everyone is not a born voice actor. Any introverts in the house? Introverts in the house, raise your hand. Okay, great. That makes it the two of us, three of us, okay. Because this guy standing in front of you on this amazing, prestigious TEDx platform, the 15-year-old me was a very shy and introverted guy who could not look up into the eye of a single person and talk straight. I was so bad, so low in confidence, but still interested in dramatics. So my God bless his soul, but 20 years and many successes and many failures later, Performing arts is my life and voice acting and speaking for a living is what gets me going every day. So it's been a long 20 year old roller coaster ride. I started off as a very, very shy, introverted guy. The reason I'm sharing this with you is to tell you that if I can do it, so can you. Many people think that speaking or speaking in a nice manner is a born skill. No, you can acquire the skill. I have acquired it from being an absolute low in confidence introverted guy to someone who probably gets paid millions to speak today. How did it all happen? It happened because coming from a boys school, I was 15 and I got into college and college and girls happened. And I realized that if I don't learn how to speak well, if I don't shape up my personality, I'm not gonna score well. 
exams with your Rajya Gemani. So, so that got me to develop my personality, start working on my skills, got into cultural events in college, and after college, got into All India Radio, became a radio anchor with them, got into commercial broadcasting. Every day was a struggle. My language was poor. My confidence was, I wasn't very talented, very mediocre talent. But what I had with me was one very important thing to use. Tenacity, I never ever gave up. And the ability to learn quickly. That got me going and there was no looking back. And 22 odd years uh, later, I am still Every morning I wake up excited at the prospect of facing the microphone. This is not just my profession, this is my passion, this is my life, and I get all the excitement doing what I love doing. So, a very unconventional career. It's been more than 22 years, or and there's never been one dull day at work. But all it requires you is to keep shaping your understanding of of your of emotional understanding of how emotions work, how the psychology of voice works, and putting everything you learn into your job. It is a tough job, but I love it. Having said that, I think all I would want to say is that all of you, each and every one of you, has it in you to shape your personality and shape your destiny using the magical powers of voice acting. It's not about English or Hindi, you can be speaking any language, but if you understand how people think, if you have a good emotional sensibility, there is no reason why you cannot become a fabulous voice actor, shape your personality, be able to influence and charm more people, and in effect, shape your destiny. I am a 24-7 voice artist, and I intend to remain one till the last breath of my life. And I have you know, no qualms in saying that my abilities as a voice actor have shaped my personality, my overall personality, and has absolutely changed my destiny. So it won't be wrong in the end to say that destiny is indeed a matter of voice. Thank you.